Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Holy Potatoes, a weapon shop. Uh, this game is wildly outside of the things I usually do, but that's because there just aren't a whole lot of games like this. I think the closest game I can uh, compare this one to is Reseteer, but even then I don't think you do a whole lot of dungeon crawling. That said, this is a, uh, I mean, you're effectively a blacksmith. Uh, this is a medieval, well not medieval, this is a fantasy blacksmith simulator game. Which is kind of neat. Looks like it's going to be on mobile. I uh, haven't seen any anything about it being on mobile. Currently it's on PC. Uh, let's see. It's going to be 15 bucks of release. I should probably uh, mention that. But anyway. Uh, Agent 46. Huh. Where's that silly bud? I said to meet him here in the morning. He's really not liking uh, like his grandfather in any way. Going by that letter he sent back. Dear Major Agent, of course I'll come. What's good to eat in that part of town? Silly empty-headed fool. Of course, it's all the better for me to... Uh, P-K-P-A-P. P-K-A... P-K-A-P. Alright, hey Mr. Agent, is that you? Oh, you're here at last! Sorry, I got lost. Alright, I've been waiting all morning. Stand back for my welcome spiel. Blech. Hello, you must be the grandson of Batata, the legendary potato smith. As the late Batata's only grandson, you have inherited your grandfather's legacy, his blacksmith shop. It, I was your grandfather's trusted partner and made an agreement where I own 99% of this weapon shop. The 0.01% he owned will now be yours. Of the one day, you two can become a legendary potato smith like him. Let's work together and earn lots of starch. Oh, wow. Wait, hang on. Starch? Isn't that what we're made of? Uh, yes, but it's also our currency. You know what starch is, don't you? Oh, starch. Yeah, I'm not very good with it. Mom's been giving me pocket money for years. Ugh. Well, don't worry. I'm great with it. I'll help you with complicated finance stuff and expand our business worldwide. Together, I'm sure we can make lots of starch. Yay, but how? Well, for starters, you're going to need to forge powerful weapons to do uh, that for us. Here, let me teach you how. All right, can't wait. But first, do you have anything easier than... Patatalata, Kartoffel P, Ardoppel Papa? Holy crap, that's my name. Patatalata. Patata Lata Kartoffel P R Dapple Papa. Uh let's see. What's my name? Grognar. Okay. What should we name our shop? Uh Sharp Stuff for Sharp Stuff, yes. Should I call them that? No. There we go. Well, I guess we can't get the the G in there. Whatever. Punch. Close enough. Okay. So, welcome to the weapon shop, Grognar. Here's uh, 500 starts to get you started, courtesy of Agent 46. Isn't he awesome? Uh, you're new in town, so obviously no spud knows about you yet. You'll earn fame and get famous when you s start selling weapons to heroes. The top panel shows the date, the current season, and the present weather conditions. Here, you should meet Laura, your first smith. Smiths will uh, work to make weapons for you. Click on Laura, Laura Craft to get started. Adorable. Okay, Laura's a designer. She's good at adding attack to weapons. Smiths can add attack speed, accuracy, and magic stats to weapons. They need to be standing in the right place to work, though. The colored spots on the ground are where your smiths can stand. Laura Craft has a high attack. She'll work best in the rest. She'll work best in the red attack spot. Click the red attack spot to move Laura there. Okay, hey, you can zoom out. Look, two more smiths have come to join you. Bulk Bogan is a craftsman, and Russell Peters is a metal worker. Uh, I mean, Bulk Bogan is supposed to be a Hulk Hogan one. I don't know about Russell P Russet Peters. Yeah, I have no idea who he's supposed to be. They're all references, though, which is kind of hilarious. Okay, metalworker, craftsmen uh, work better on speed, and metalworkers on accuracy. Click on the smiths while they're working to learn more about them. Or check the smith panel located in the bottom left corner on the screen. Okay, let's get to work on your first objective. Forge a dagger. Click the forge button. Okay, uh, daggers. Thieves like them. Basic stats. Okay. Uh, well, let's make a dirk. And it looks like we have to worry about base resources. Okay, so this this game, I mean, let's be honest here, this game looks exactly like, uh, well, not exactly, but it, it reminds me very heavily of, I guess, Game Dev Simulator. 
or game dev story, but instead you're making weapons. I'm okay with that. All right, heroes have stat preferences since thieves prefer speed over other stats. Make speed the primary stat on the weapon by placing a smith in the green speed spot. Well, we've, we've got one in the speed spot, right? Yes. So I'm not sure what the difference is. What if I just move him there? Let's just focus on speed? Is that a minus one on speed? I have no idea. Okay. Well, this should... Okay, what should we name the weapon? Uh... Let's name this one the... The... The Nif. Okay. So we got the Nif. It's got pretty good, pretty good dexterity. Okay. Uh, named after the sound people make after getting stabbed with it. Dirk! Ugh! I... What? Alright, fine. Alright, so let's move him back. Alright, can't believe it, my first weapon! Don't go all starry-eyed me, on me, Grognar. We're not done yet. There are tons of heroes around the world who need new weapons. Now that you've made a weapon, you need to sell it to them. Oh wait, no, I should be voice acting Grognar on this one. I feel... happy. So happy... can sing! No, I can't do it. Anyway, let's get down to business and afford some weapons. Uh, hopefully we don't have to worry about too much dialogue. I really need to work on my caveman accent. Anyway, be quiet. Not done yet. Uh, selling weapons heroes lets them fight more monsters, which in turn lets them more earn more EXP and level up. More your weapons benefit the hero, the more fame you'll receive. So how do I know if a weapon benefits a hero? I can't follow him out into the battle. Or can I? Hmm. Pay attention. There are no There's no adventuring here. You're a blacksmith. Oh. Heroes will let you know if the weapon was beneficial or not by giving it a grade. You might have made a really awesome staff, but if you give it to a rogue who has no use for it at all, you're not going to score very well. That sounds like school. I mean, not really. You just need to pay attention to the hero's likes and dislikes. You got that? Yeah. Cheer up, Grognar. It's not that difficult. Now, how about continuing your song? That should cheer you up. Oh, you mean my singing? I'm going to sing a lot from now on. What? I didn't, I didn't mean that. Did they send me flowers when I asked for iron? No. All right, your first weapon is done. Now let's go sell it. A potato's gotta eat after all. Click on the world map button below. Okay, let's get selling. This is sell weapons above. Okay, different areas uh, in each region that your smith, uh, your smith can go to. Click on the new village. All right. Oh wait, this is new village. Okay. Uh, t on the left panel, you can see there are two heroes that you can sell your weapon to in new village. Since you're the boss, you can ask your smith to do the peddling for you. How nice. On the right panel, click the dagger and the smith. Doing both will coax the start selling button to appear. Uh, let's see. Click on it to send the smith out. All right. So Nif, uh, select which smith. Let's send in Bulk Bogan. Wait. Oh, hey. There are differences. Currently doesn't seem to be much of one. Who's the one with the... Oh, yeah. Bulk Bogan is the man with the speed. Okay. Smith selected. We'll now travel to a new village to look for customers. Report uh, with some offered prices. Keep up with your merchant's progress in the Smith panel. The bottom right corner of the screen shows Wet's app. It's probably one of the most useful things in the weapon shop. Oh, got a little bit messed up here. Okay. Uh, Smith's customer's news appear there. Except for when you're smithing, wouldn't want to hit your thumb. Smith will send you a message on what Wet's app when he finds some offers for your weapons. Okay. So... So we can sort by different things. So, Nif has been completed. Okay. So let's... Oh, look. Smith's found customers. Go and check the offers they've made. Smith with the exclamation mark. Okay. So he wants that. Uh, it'll level him up. How much? Well, we're going with the... Okay. There are two heroes with offers for you. Uh, Joy. What? You can't decide who to sell to? Maybe the expected DXP gain for each hero might help you make a choice since you gain fame when the heroes level up. It's obviously best if your weapon matches the hero primary stat and the weapon type preference, but hey, you're the boss of the weapon shop. Select the hero you want to and click to sell. Alright, so I can't like bargain or anything here, but that's fine. So let's sell it to the klepto kid who needs a dagger anyway. Okay. Oh, I could not sell if I want to. That's interesting. Receive starch. Uh, earned from the sale when your smith returns to shop. Don't have online banking here. Okay. So we have to wait for it just a little bit for him to come back. Alright, can I start forging another weapon? Yes. 
And we've got a ranger that we know about. So let's... I need, to, I need to buy me some rope. Can I do that? No. I have to wait for the guy to come back. There we go. Smith is back from selling weapons. Let's see how much we made. There he is. There's the cash. Kind of wish I could almost automate this, but still. Okay. Uh, love the smell of fresh starch. Sales trips earn you more starch in advance. Wear down your smiths. Upset smith does not make a good sales potato. Okay, click on continue. When smiths return from an area, they get random. They may get random temporary status effects. Smith is currently hyperactive. Assign your smith back to a workstation anyway. Uh, those weapons gotta get made. Let's just throw him back on the speed. Because he is Bulk Hogan. Okay. We're famous. Uh, tell your mom, your dad, your cat. Being famous will let you see more of the world. Uh, just keep on smithing. Okay. So can we pause? No. Okay, so let's go inventory? No. Let's just let's just forge another dagger, seeing as I've got enough right now. Uh, let's see. Oh, smiths can now boost weapons. The boost based on their... Okay. So we want to go with... Uh... What the? Speed boost? Oh, we can freelance on people. If we want to. Okay, that makes sense. We're... Steve Flounder. Cute. Steve Mobs. Master Wong. Meth... Mathia M Madoc. They're all references. I, I'm loving this. Alright, so we could... Okay. So, clicking on the person. Now, hiring these other people would actually cost me more money, but it would also give me a better boost. I'd rather train the people I already have. Okay. So that's an extra six speed to this dagger. Hopefully we'll have somebody else to sell it to. Okay, can I buy anything? Doesn't look like it. That's fine. Uh, we've got a pretty good speed set. I could try moving somebody over, but I think having it all around at this point is okay. I don't know. I guess I'm I'm in favor of being an all round rounder. Actually, let's move you over to the speed stat. We're actually getting plenty of accuracy here. Let's just clunk that speed up as fast as possible. All right, we're gonna call this one the Narf. I like it how you can name every single weapon you put out. I, I guess later on it's probably going to take a lot more time to make, like, crazy weapons. Okay. So, oh, hey. Russet Peters is now level 2. Me level 2 metal worker. You can also explore merchant standby. Send world map. Okay. So, uh, let's go back to the new village. Sell weapons. Let's see, do we have another? We do have another uh, thief to sell it to. Okay. So let's, let's send Bulk Bogan again. Actually, let's not. Let's send. Let's send. Send Laura Craft. Select weapons. Okay, start selling. I like it how she just gets kidnapped by aliens to go sell stuff. Okay, and we can see how long it it'll take for her to come back. Okay, so punch everything's doing fairly. Okay, when can I buy stuff? Probably gonna take a little while. Okay. Oh, she's got offers. Uh, let's see. So, well, let's send it back to. Uh, let's sell it to the Klepto Kid again. It won't give me as much fame, but it does give me a fair amount of money, though. Eh. I think we want money in the be beginning. That way we can get some resources so we can make the other stuff, too. Hey, Fever. Cute. So there's actually, like, tooltips for everything. I'm liking this. Oh, she's back. Okay. Weapon rating A. Durable and reliable. Okay. So let's throw her back. She's hyperactive for the next day. Okay, feature unlocked. We can now buy materials from various shops. Okay, time to shop for items. New village. What do you have? Lots of things. Alright, so we need... How much money do I have? A lot. So I'm actually going to be a little bit expensive, a uh, little bit uh, wasteful. I'm going to go buy five of everything. Did the game just crash? Oh, freeze on me. Oh, here we go. Choice of fate. A small yellow bird with a beak resembling thick lips is staring at a bunch of green pipes extending from above and below. The bird seems to be a species native to Vietnam.
We can do this! New high score! Tap, tap, tap. Could it be? Yes, a new high score. A wave of satisfaction overcomes you. Challenge completed. Bulk Bogan. Power. Times 1.2. Plus 3 for one day. Alright. Uh, can I even forge anything? I don't have any materials, do I? Not until we get the guy back. Okay, so... His bonus is meaningless. Hey, buy five ropes! Well, I just bought five of everything. Are you done yet? Nope, he's thinking of home. Right, so I don't have much money, but I can't do anything else either. Okay, he's coming back. We can we can uh, start making stuff again. Merchant discount, 5%. Good. Okay. So let's put him back here. And let's forge a bow. Bows you want accuracy for. Okay, I've got more than enough, and these should these are for rangers and archers. Oh, you can actually see like the various classes these are for. Fighter. Okay, that's easy enough. Okay, and we want to boost accuracy on this one. And let's send Russet Peters, because I have no money. Okay, so wow. 10 accuracy right off the bat. Go Russet! <laughs> I like it how when, when they level up or something like that, it looks like they just turn psychic. Okay, so our, our money situation is going to get real tight real soon. Looks like we're still on... Month one though. Okay, so we don't have to we don't have to worry about this too much. That's good. Okay, so while we wait, let's talk impressions. Visually, game is wonderful. I wonder if I can ever expand my shop. I assume I can. Uh but I mean if you if you like game dev simulator. If you like game dev simulator, if you like just basic ARP well, simulator type games, I think this game is going to be pretty close to exactly what you're looking for uh but with more style and you don't have to worry about it exactly being a clone all right so let's select the buh and and you're all happy well let's send russet peters he's a slightly better merchant well, i'll have to figure out how to get them to rest at some point okay so we'll, while we wait on that one let's start making a dirk as well actually do i want to start making an axe Let's try making an axe. Why not? It's better than waiting. And axes, you want... You want fight. Start boosting. Okay, so we get 12 attack, 5 whatever. I'll have to figure out how to have my guys rest at some point, too. Okay, so we've got... Yeah, 559, and that should... No, it doesn't get him to level 6. Okay, so we're gonna have to make another bow once he gets back. That's fine. This will solve our money problems. We'll have to figure out how to send my guys on a vacation. Or maybe it's plus five levels. It might be. That would make the most amount of sense. Oh, he's back. Okay, recipeters. Okay. Assign him here. And we... We did actually finish the objective. Cool. Get two heroes to maximum level. Oh, boy. Well, I guess we've been let loose in the world. Okay, so can't terminate the axe before it's done. That's fine. It's gonna have garbage accuracy. Okay. Gorgeous potato girl appears uh, before you and confesses her love. Ain't nobody got time for that. Smithing is love. Smithing is life. All right. She admires your dedication and your work and falls even deeper in love with you. Way to go, hot stuff. Russ and Peter's technique times 1.2 plus 6 for one day. Cool. All right. So we're gonna call this one the... We're going to call this one the Hacks. Alright, so it's got garbage accuracy, but the primary stat is... <laughs> you, uh, hold it in your hand? Cute. Okay. So how are my... How are my people doing? I have no idea. They're all happy. I'm going to just keep sending... What is his attack? Oh, right, because he's the accuracy man. Alright, let's just sell send her. Now let's figure out how to... Okay. Uh... A Goomon wanders into your shop. It hands you a small digital device. A Goomon! Bitvolve! It fails. Screen darkens, your Goomon fades into a squishy pink plush toy. Oh, she's dumber for a day. Nuts. Okay, so let's see. How do we do this? Shop profile. Uh, don't have to worry about money yet. How do we get these people to relax? Okay, here we go. Skinny little spud is being picked on by bullies. Save him by ch chasing off his attackers. Oh, nope. Well, the uh, bullies have gone for me. All right, is she, oh, she, we have buyers. Oh, look at that money. 
Fizenfist Fury. Max level is 10. Oh, okay. So the max... So, I see. The more famous they get, the higher the max level goes. Alright, so I guess we want to make more daggers and we want to make more bows as we go along. But we got plenty of money now. So there's that. Short potato with a dark bob is really critical of some of your customers' clothes. She's a great eye for design, though. It must be Edna Code. Ask her if she's Edna Code. Gives tips on design. Alright, so we get power bonus for a day. Unfortunately... Laura Craft is busy, so let's start making a bow. She'll come back. And let's boost accuracy, because that is that is what bows are for. Okay, only seven. Yeah, unfortunately my, my people are a little bit tired, and I don't know how to get them to relax. Maybe I just wait? I have no idea. And she's back, with the cash. Okay, so she he's up to level that. Send Smith on an errand. Can't fire the smith. Nope, okay. So we want to have... Oh! Shop fame has increased. So she's resting. That's good to know. So standby. I don't know what standby does. Might actually make them rest. Okay. Well, that's good to know. That might be a good way of uh, getting morale back, but currently, since I can't hire anybody, let's just focus on beating this. Uh, not exactly come hell or high water, but still. Okay. After a certain point, I should probably give up naming these things. It's kind of meaningless. Okay. I do actually wish I could hire, like, a specific merchant at some point. Okay, so we've got the archer, select a smith. Let's see, so we want Russet Peters for this one. That's where I selected the weapon. Okay, there we go. And let's start forging another dagger. Nope, never mind. Can't forge anything, we need more iron. So let's send you out, seeing as we haven't sent you out sent you in out in a while. Let's go here. We want to pick up like ten iron. Let's actually buy less wood. We've already got a bunch. Okay, select Smith and we'll we'll be sending Laura Craft on this one. I don't I don't actually know. And you can go on standby. Oh, you cannot put all smiths on standby. All right, time to just wait. I received a travel pass times one. I don't know what that does. Ticket, shop, fame, don't know. All right, so unfortunately, uh, it's not gonna give me a whole lot of levels. Then again, I didn't put a whole lot of effort into this bow. So let's just sell it to this guy, get some basic cash. Ah. Oh, let's go. I guess let's really just wait. I still don't know how to make these guys happy though. Okay. So we got our basic equipment. Can't fire, can't. I put away, oh, wait. Designer level three. Does, oh, I see, designers are specifically for attacks, okay. I actually kind of wish that designer craftsman and uh, whatever the last one for Russet Peters is, like weren't necessarily tied to, uh, hey, merchant level's up, nice. And Metalworker, I wish they weren't tied to div different stats, but in fed instead had their, like, own effects. But, you know what? Not the end of the world. Okay. Oh, there is actually a way of increasing time. Good. Alright, so let's let's make another bow. We've got a lot of we've got a lot of these base resources. That's uh, buff accuracy. Go, go, Russet Peters. Okay. 19, right off the bat. Cool. Alright, now let's crank up time really quick. Yeah, that makes it a heck of a lot faster. I'm glad that exists. I, I really like it in games when you can, when you can like, speed up time. You don't have to worry about thing, this thing. So we're going to call this one the... The Shirt Bay. Okay. Woo, look at that primary stat. Okay, that should sell well. So it looks like they're getting a little bit tired. We'll just have... These guys chill out for a bit. Oh, you must have one smith in the shop. Okay. 
So I'm going to have Russet Peters. They're all neutral, right? Well, we got a lot of cash. Let's just speed up time for a second. Does having them on standby bring them out of... No. Okay, so standby does not does not fix the happiness thing. Looks like you can't get past neutral, though. Okay, so let's just go to the world map. Send the shirt bit. And they're all neutral, so as long as they're not complaining too much, we don't have to worry about it too much. Okay. Ah, uh, so this should level up the archer. And let's just wait. Okay. Ooh! Yep, two levels for this guy. So let's just keep making let's just keep making bows for a very sh uh, for a little while longer. I kind of wish there's like a there's probably a hotkey for switching time around faster, but you know what? Not a big deal. Yeah, we get some money, and we only need to make him a very very small amount of. Uh, well, we can just make a really crappy bow. So let's go to the world map. Let's sell weapons just for a second. I want to take a look at this. Who's the next highest level? Klepto Kit. Or Terry Tree Hugger. Nope. Definitely not the Tree Hugger, so we want to go to the Rogue. Okay, so we want to go back to the workshop. Okay, right-clicking does work. Forge. Let's make a dagger. Let's make the best damn dagger we can possibly make, and daggers you want speed. Oh, bo bulk Bogan. Bulk Bogan. Go for it. Yeah! Look at those stats. Let's just crank this, this thing out fast. I hope at some point you're able to actually work on multiple weapons at once in your workshop. I'm I'm also oh hello. Uh let's see. I wonder if the there's a chance. Uh Pale Sparkly Potato Stud. Let's Blush <laughs> Romance the potato stud. As you fiercely does not move. You feel a lot more secure for the next few days. Okay. So we finished the Dirk. Let's call it the Dork. Okay, those are pretty good stats. To the world map, to sell it. Let's see, select Smith. As we'll send Bulk Bogan, and he'll be back. Okay, next up, let's forge a bow. Yep, all right. So they, they can work on that while they're going. Let's go for accuracy, Rosa Peters. And 15, not the greatest, but could be worse. I guess we're also missing people. So once, Bulk Bogan? Okay, here we go. Get some two levels. It's almost there. So he should be back any time now, right? Yes. Okay. We made a fair amount of money. We need one more Dirk after this. That's okay. Uh, we'll go crime down the roadside, lost and hungry. Uh, help her find her parents. Yay! Okay. So she gets a power bonus for the next day. Go, go, bow. Right, let's crank the time up. Let's finish this bow fast. It's going to be a pretty good bow, despite the fact that I kind of used it as a dump bow. I'm okay with that. Dump bow. Dumb bow. See? I made it funny. Okay, so. So far, so good. Uh, let's get the green. Oh, I see. Oh, you can sort by weapon. That's cool. So you could actually make a stock as... As you wait for better things. We're still in the tutorial, by the way. Ah, uh, can you believe it? Okay, let's start selling. Let's forge one last Dirk. Okay, and speed. Bulk Bogan, good luck. I'm so glad that there's a, a speed up... A speed up section to this. Makes life a lot easier. Okay, so we'll max, we'll max level this guy. Make a lot of cash. And then you guys will be done with the Dirk fairly soon. Okay. Give me that sweet, sweet money. 5,000. And I get another travel pass. My fame is, my fame is increasing. I'm liking this. Okay, it's the dagger. 100% done. Duggier. I was about to call it the Dugger, and then I realized that might be in poor taste. Anyway, uh, let's go sell the last dagger. This should change activity. Back to map. Change activity. Oh, okay. I was wondering about that. There's a lot of stuff in this game. I appreciate it greatly. Let's send Bulk Bogan. And then time is currently going perfectly. So, uh, total salary payable, 
they all want salary increases, that's fine. And that'll max level them. Perfect. Hey, the music's changed. What? Oh, he's already back, I see. Get a fair amount of gold, we get an S rank on the Dugir, which I think was also a dump dagger, which is kind of hilarious. Okay, and we get Bulk Bogan back. Alright, good morning, how's the blacksmith thing been coming along? Alright, uh, feature unlocked, you can now use tickets to access new areas. Unlock the Murky Miso Marshes. Alright, expand business to the Murky Miso Marshes. Now, I'm kind of hoping that there are more areas other than just uh, the Murky Miso Marshes. Uh, let's see. Alright, feature unlocked, you can now send your smiths to explore various areas to find items. Alright. Explore the uh, Miso Marshes. Can I send multiple people? Nope, can't. Okay, Bulk Bogan, gentleman adventurer. Good luck. All right, uh, let's see. Giant fish. Wola Wola. Let's move into the shop. All right, everybody likes the fish tank. Unfortunately, the fish tank does not show up inside the shop, which is kind of a shame. Oh, whoa. Okay. So we're no longer in the forest. We're now kind of in a beach setting. Odd. Okay, area of event, new perspectives. Advertisement will let us look at the weapon and uh, never look at... Uh, wait, that advertisement will never let us look at this weapon the same way again. Effect duration 3D. Uh, okay, so we have three days to make a dagger. Well, I mean, we don't have three days to make a dagger. We can't make it anyway. We don't have enough iron. Ha! All right, let's... Uh, nope, we don't want to sell... We don't want to sell weapons. Back to map, change activity, we want to shop for stuff, and we want to just buy it, like, 13 iron? That'll be good enough. I've got a lot of cash. And, go, go, Russ and Peters. Alright. Oh, he's back. Okay, hope this helps. Five materials, zero enchantments, two relics. So, I guess scouting is going to be pretty important along the way here, too. Uh, we also get relics. A dirty handle, and a warrior's mark. Okay, so these are probably useful along the way. Let's see, let's put him back here. Woof! What would we like to name our dog? Cat! Alright, so, oh, there, there's Cat the dog. Oh, it's splashing around, that's adorable. Alternatively peeing on the, alright, I think, I think Cat just peed on the floor. Whoops. All right. Oh, shoot. Uh, cook my own over the enchanting table. Okay. So he's back with a bunch of iron. Probably should have had him buy a bunch of other stuff, but still. Okay. Let's make the best damn dagger we, we can possibly make. We're going straight on speed. Go, go, bulk bogan. Okay. Not the greatest, but I think we'll be fine. Okay. And this will be the last thing we, we craft. And we're good. Fairly good, fairly good dagger. Let's go sell it. New village. Oh, interesting. Since they're maxed out, we might not actually be able to get much of a bonus from this one. Let's send Russet Peters and select weapons. The Herc. Start selling. Okay. Uh, eat the red one. Grows twice the size. What? All right, that's bizarre. So does the dog just run around? I think it does. Okay. So Russell Peters is back with lots of money. Doesn't actually help us that much, but it does make us some cash. Okay. So that let's. Oh, whoa. Feed. Why can't we feed? Why can't we feed the dog? Nope. That's not. That's not who I want to click on. Okay. Russell Peters is back. Right, let's throw him back here. I do kind of wish it would let you remember, but uh, nope. Let's not explore. Shop for items here? Sell weapons here. Okay, so these have a bunch of max level 25, 25, 25. Okay, that works. So, uh, we got Steven Steele, Many the Bandit, Yappy the Jabber, Offenser, Ar Archie the Huntsman, Hunter, and One Eye Jack the Dead Eye. <laughs> He's got an eye in the middle of his stomach. That's ridiculous. All right, so it looks like uh, we've, uh, we've got pretty much everything under control. I was kind of hoping I could send people on... Uh, off to a uh, vacation at some point. Also wish you could pause the game, but still, not the end of the world. So, 
Uh, I guess let's wrap this up. We've been running this, uh, this episode long enough. I love this game. It's adorable. It's, I mean, the references are good. The dialogue is humorous enough. Uh, the style is wonderful. I actually wish that more things were hand-painted, like the environment, but I'm okay with what it is. I hope at some point we, uh, well, let's take a look at the world map. I mean, we've got a whole section of, the map, uh, of everything currently locked off, but I'm hoping that, oh, punch everything. This is our workshop. All right. Yeah, no. There's definitely more more islands than this. This this game is probably going to get a heck of a lot deeper than it currently is. And this is just what we can currently see until we get out of the tutorial area. Don't even know. Uh, but like we can't even we can't even vacation. We can't even train. So I I assume we're going to find some interesting interesting new features as we go along in this game. For the time being, though, let's uh, let's call it quits. So the game is 15 bucks on release. And I'm not entirely sure if that's uh, the best price ever, but, you know, that's just be me being cheap. Uh, but I think it's a fairly fair price for, you know, the amount of depth that's probably in this game. Uh, seeing as we've only seen, like, a good quarter of the features. And if you like, uh, you know, city sim type games, I think you'd like this one a lot. Uh, I, I love the fact that we have Bulk Bogan, Laura Craft, and, and Russ, Russ and Peters. I don't, I don't know who you're supposed to be. Uh, but that's fine, too. But... No, overall, this is actually a, a very fun game, and I think I'm going to keep playing this one as well. I keep saying that about practically every series I start, and we don't finish it. But this one's pretty linear, so I think that's a good thing. So, I will, uh, I, uh, I, I will recommend this to anybody that liked, that liked Game Dev Simulator, because I, I think you will like this one as well. It's about as charming. Might not be as deep in some ways, but it's kind of nice and super casual. I have no idea if it's coming to mobile, but if it ever does, I really would recommend it there. I think this would be a fine kind of side game to play while you're doing other stuff. Okay, so. Art's good. Music's good. Gameplay is, I mean, gameplay is what it is. I do kind of wish it was a little bit more interesting, like uh, picking various uh, features to add to the weapons, but I guess that's what the relics are for. So maybe, that, maybe that's something we get along the way. Like, seriously, we haven't even gotten to research. We haven't even managed to get any of these weapons. And boy, are there a lot of them. So, I don't know. I'm going to keep playing it. It's going to be a kind of a nice, fun, casual thing to go, go with. Uh, might record it, might not. Don't know. Uh, but either way. I would recommend it. If Probably at 10 bucks, definitely at 5 bucks. If it ever goes down that low, it's absolutely worth the price. Okay, with that, if you like this impressions video in any way, shape, or form... Leave me a like. Helps more than you know. Uh, if you want to suggest another game for me to cover, leave a comment or, I guess, questions about this game. I don't know. Uh, I'll probably know more about this game by the time the video goes out as well. So, should be able to answer them. And if you want to see more uh, Holy Potatoes A Weapon Shop or uh, any other Indian impression video videos, then uh, hit subscribe because I do a lot of them. I was hoping I could just keep zooming in on Hulk, uh, Bulk Bogan as this goes along. Like, you know, they're all just standing around being like, yep, we're bored. And the dog's just like, oh, ah. Yeah. That's interesting. The dog has a different uh, line color to him. He also has a butthole. All right, so if you like games with dogs with buttholes, then this is the game for you. Okay, so with that, see you guys on the next episode of Holy Potatoes the Weapon Shot. Shop, assuming people are interested. And as always, thanks for watching.